And at six, the team you can trust. Students in Northeast Tennessee are back to class after the catastrophic flooding caused by Hurricane Helene. Thanks for joining us. I'm Casey Marler. Sarah Diamond is on assignment. Today, most students in Carter County Schools went back to class. This was their first day back in a full month. Students who attend Hampton go back tomorrow as the school was temporarily relocated to the system's central office building. News Channel 11's Leah Johnson live from Carter County. Leah, what did school leaders share about today's return? Hampton High School students will be calling the old Keensburg Elementary School home until further notice. Today, teachers were here setting up and working to welcome Hampton students when they start back up tomorrow. The school received significant flood damage. Uh, it does sit in a flood zone, which is currently uh, against state law. So there's several, several uh, barriers that we have to figure out. Uh, moving forward and we're in the process of doing that. The current solution is to move students and staff to the old Keensburg Elementary School. Today, teachers were organizing donated school supplies and getting their classrooms set up for the first day back. We started last week. Organizations that have given us lots of supplies for the students and the teachers. Hampton High School was the school that received the most damage. Dr. Brandon Carpenter, director of Carter County Schools, says being out for a whole month is a huge learning loss, but they are working to make up for the time lost. We're very concerned, you know, in, in every grade, but, uh, you know, there's an emphasis on third grade, but, uh, you know, our, our supervisor, uh, Ms. Betsy Oliver, she has uh, made several plans and, and adapted some things, and, and I think she'll have her teachers ready uh, to prepare our students for, for such tests. Dr. Carpenter says they are taking it one day at a time, but tomorrow is all about making the students feel comfortable and providing the right resources they might need. It's the best scenario. We were able to keep our kids together. That's what we were praying for. And now that we've been able to do that, we as a faculty, um, and our student body will make it happen and we'll make it the best for our kids that we can make it. The school will be offering counseling along with any other help students might need as they adjust to being in a new environment. Dr. Carpenter says that they are working to find a solution to the future of Hampton High School, but right now everything is still up in the air until further discussion. Reporting live in Carter County, Leah Johnson, News Channel 11, back to you, Casey.